Okay, let's begin by learning how to read in some data from an external CSV file. So I'm going to assume that you're, you've installed Anaconda and you're using a Jupyter, Jupyter Notebook if you're watching this video. If you're watching this as part of my class, you know that you have two choices. You could either be using Jupyter Notebooks now or continuing to use Google Collab. If you're using Google Collab, then stop this one and watch the video that is right next to this one. This first video, right one, uh, sorry, this is the video that shows how to do what we're about to do now. This video right here is the one that shows you how to do it in Google Collab. So we want to download this data first of all, insurancecost.csv, and that's the one that we're going to read into Python. So when you download the material, it'll probably put it in your downloads folder or something like that. You then need to decide where you want to put it. So I decided to move it from downloads, and I have, uh, I'm going to open up my PC here. So if you're on Windows, You've got a C drive, but I've also got a D drive for an external hard drive. Um, you could go to your C drive and put it somewhere like your, uh, let's say you've got, um, I don't know, documents somewhere. You could create a, a, a folder somewhere, but you just need to remember where you save it, basically. So my Google Drive, I've actually put here on my D drive, and inside of Google Drive, I created, and um, sorry, inside of Google Drive, we already have a Collab Notebooks folder. Now, the reason why I have this view right here is because on Google Drive, I installed that. Uh, actually, let me show you. If you don't already have this, it's, it's a really useful tool. Uh, let me go to Drive. So here in Google Drive, um, you can go to Settings and get back up and sync for Windows. What that does is it will create a folder on your own computer that all of your files on Drive will automatically download to and sync. So if I add a folder here anywhere in Google Drive, it'll automatically sync it back up to the cloud version of Google Drive, which is kind of nice. Anyway, I, I use Google Drive or Dropbox for, um, for all my files. But anyway, go into Google Cloud Notebooks. I'm going to store it here inside of a folder inside of Cloud Notebooks called Data. So Google Drive, Cloud Notebooks, Data. Uh, you can put it wherever you want. You just need to remember this right here. This is the path for where to go to find that file insurance.csv. So insurance.csv, this is what we call the, the file path. It's on my D drive inside of the Google Drive folder, inside of Cloud Notebooks, inside of the data folder. Let me go ahead and copy that into memory right now. All right, so assuming you have that, we're going to create, uh, we're, and assuming you've got Jupyter Notebooks running, we want to start here by importing the pandas uh, library or package. So um, we have to use the keyword pandas. It's case sensitive. PD is why I named it. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, but then accessing it is actually really, truly simple. Um, all we need here is a pd.read underscore CSV and then open, close, single quotes and then paste that path to where insurance.csv is located. Now, although that's the path, I'm just, I've just told it to go look inside the data folder. I haven't told it which file to use inside the data folder, so I still have to add slash to look inside that folder, insurance.csv. All right, so I'm not only gonna read this, I wanna read and store it into a variable called data. And we'll talk in the next chapter about what that data structure is, or in the next section, uh, the structure of this variable. But for now, let me just go ahead and run that and make sure I don't get any errors. Now, if you do get an error, it's probably because something in your path is wrong. So let's say I misspell or somehow something in here is not quite right. Let me change it to collab notebook. Now the path is wrong. And if I try and run that, it says, hey, file not found error. We can't find anything called insurance.csv because we don't see any folder called Collab Notebook. Now, of course, it doesn't tell you that, but you just have to know um, or guess that maybe something in my path is wrong. You double check it. You find out, yep, I missed my S. Run it. We're all good now. All right, last thing. Let's uh, print data.head, although you don't actually even need to use the print command if we just say data.head. What that'll do is automatically print out, if it finds the file, the first five lines of the CSV. And it assumes that the first row is headers, or uh, yeah, is a, is a header row. And then here, this is a number that it's automatically added in to refer to the row as a zero-based index. 
So this zero through four wasn't actually in the file. However, age, sex, BMI, children, smoker, region charges were. So he, this is what's in the file. Now, let me pull up an Excel version of this file. You can see right here, if I downloaded, this is a freely available data set that I got from Kaggle.com from an insurance company that had individual uh, customers here and the amount that they've cost the insurance company over the last year. I, I don't know. I think that's what it represents the last year. Or, oh, who knows? But what they have here are six variables that they think might explain why the charges are what are what they are, what makes them go up or down. Age, sex, body mass index, number of children, smoker, and region. So we've read that data now into this data object. How many records are there? Well, there's actually not too many. If I just do this and say print data, whoops, not a capital D. It doesn't, the data.head command gives it that nice um, format. But if I just print out the data object or data frame, which we'll learn about later, it just says, here's all the data that you have. 1,338 rows, seven columns. So I'll leave this back as uh, data.head though. And um, let's call it good for now and proceed in the next section with uh, with this data structure.